I'm Bob Maddox from uh, Jacksonville, Oregon, and this wild looking car here is the Ground Fighter, designed and built by Wally Larson. Um, this car is a top show car, it's been a top show car for a number of years, but it's been off the circuit for a few years, and it's coming back on, and it's bigger and better than ever. It uh, features a gigantic nitro or alcohol engine here, running anywhere from three to 9,000 horse, depending on uh, what you're doing with it. And Wally asked me if I'd build some of my jet engines for it, so we built these, uh, custom built them, all computer designed and cut and everything, and, and uh, they're probably somewhere in the 1,000 to 1,200 horse range. Uh, gives you a little bit more top end if for some reason you want to go over 400 miles an hour. Uh, anyway, they have uh, flaps in the front here that, that open up when the engine starts. And everything is run by all of these solenoids here, all push button from in the cockpit and everything. You just push button and it fires right up. Come on back here, has the motor mounts that come down and, and uh, mount on the main frame down here, holds it in nice and strong. And then we have extra inlets here that entrain uh, air from outside that comes in here, mixes with the hot exhaust coming out, increases the thrust. I'm in my shop in Medford, Oregon, where I do all my testing and building, and uh, this is Wally Larson's test engine that we have here. It's been out in the rain for a while, so it's kind of rusty and everything, but we did all the uh, test runs and everything on this to make sure it ran the way we wanted it to, so we didn't have to run it when it's in the show car. And back here we have my test cell for my small engines. Uh, they're fully throttleable uh, pump engines that start on uh, propane and preheat on propane and then switch right over to kerosene and, and uh, are fully throttleable, somewhere between 2 pounds and 18 pounds of thrust, something like that. And then um, I've got another engine around here somewhere. It's a really big one I'm working on. Uh, you know where that one went down? You seen that? It's around somewhere. <laughs> Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a big engine. It's uh, probably the biggest engine ever made. I'm not I'm not sure about that, but it, it may be. It's uh, 14 feet long, 24 inches in diameter, about 26 inches up in the head. Of course, we're covering up in what's inside because there's things that people haven't used before in it. And uh, it's probably going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 1800 pounds of thrust, depending on uh, what kind of juice I'm using in it.